Good day, good day. It's today back on the Peugeot 107 doing the rear windows. It's a five door. Uh, it's a common fault is the back windows falling out. The glue what holds the brackets in. Oh, well, it's crap. They fall out, so it's a common fault. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. So, yeah, let me switch you around. As you can see, the previous owner is taped it up because the brackets come loose. So, all he's done is duct taped it all the way around. So, yeah, I'm just going to re glue it. So, the first things first, what you want to do is you want to get T30, one of them, come on. A T30 and you want to undo the two screws here or the two bolts you want to undo them two first uh, if you ain't got it taped up and you just want to redo the glue it's best to get someone else to hold the glass so yeah because mine's taped up it ain't going to go anywhere anyway so I'm going to undo these two here then you've got two 10mm bolts here I've already undone Two 10 mil bolts there. As soon as you undo these and undo them 10 mils there, the window comes straight out. So yeah, like I say, it's best to get someone to help, or just undo them. When it comes to the 10 mil, put your hand behind the back of the glass, just to force your glass on like that while you undo the 10 mils. Then you can just pop the window off and hold it at the same time. So yeah, let's get this undone. So once you've undone this here, I've unhooked it. So it takes the pressure off the window when I was unscrewing it. The bolts are undone, so that window is ready to come out. So, what you want to do is grab it and pull it from this side. If you're lucky, you hear that? That's the brackets, they've actually glued the brackets to the door as well. So, you have to be extra careful. There we go. Then that just all looks like that. So there we go. One glass off. Let me just show you. As you can see, the bracket's off that side. Still stuck on that side, but it's off this side. So yeah, here's my top bracket what come loose. Yeah, the bottom bracket what's come loose. As you can see there, the glue's still on it. So to get that out, i just got a rubber mallet and I'll just tap the bolt the other side and that will just come off. So yeah. So next thing is, take this off, take it in there, give it a clean. And I'll show you what glue I'm using. I've done black bag the back window up. Because it looks like it's absolutely going to fucking piss it down. Uh, you're looking about 12 hours, that window's going to be out. So all I've done is tape my window up. If you got a driveway, I'll go and park mine right up against the fence and that so yeah I've done the other side so all I've done is switch the car around and I'm going to park it right up against the fence and I've got two storms coming so yeah make sure the weather shit make sure you tape it up good so there we go let's get in the shed right so here we go here's the brackets come off that bottom one only pulled it slightly and it's peeled off as you can see all the sh shit glue still on there and matter of fact it just peels off like that so yeah you've got to clean these up I use a Stanley blade and all I'm going to do is gently go over it and just scrape all the old glue off get all that crap off give it a good clean up so once you clean these off like I say all I've used is a Stanley blade to get most of it all off and I've used just some white just to clean all the grease and crap off it just to give them a good clean up next thing is the brackets I'm going to get all that old glue off all the crap off them same method Stanley blade get all the glue off when all that comes off and I'm just get a wire brush 
why brush them down plastic camera so yeah there we go put a nice load of it stagger seal on it like that then you want a clamp or something just to hold it down while it dries so what you want to do line it up the edge of your glass here look where the other marks are and just try and get it bang on where you were marked square like that get away or whatever you want to use just to clamp it down like that The access, all I'm doing is wiping the access round just to make sure it's nice and sealed on. Yeah, so make sure the back of the bracket, hinge, whatever you want to call it, is flush with your glass. Just make sure you try and get it back in the same position as it came off in. Everything with this tag is so you've got to clean your hands straight away because it stains your fingers. It's supposed to wear gloves, but I can't wear gloves. So there's one. I'll get on with doing the next one and I'll be back. So there we go. That's both glued on. Now I'm going to leave them till tomorrow now as I've got work pretty soon so yeah they norm you normally dry within two or three hours but I like to come in 12 hours to make sure they are absolute solid and glued on to the glass especially glass you gotta make sure it's proper on there proper sealed as you can hear that wind is absolutely crazy so yeah I'll leave them till tomorrow and I'll be back or we'll put it back on the car. So, once it's all dry, the clips on your window. Come out, make sure this is clean. Clean these. Stick some of your tiger seal on there. Then just bolt your window back on. So there we go. It's all bolted back on. These are in. There we go. I've got to do now clean all this old tape off. But yeah. Pretty simple really, I can see. What you gotta do is make sure your window's level here when you put it back on before you tighten it up. So there we go, done the other side as well. It's both sides been done. And next thing you're gonna be doing is just getting a bit of water, run it round the top, make sure it's absolutely sealed and you're gonna have no leaks. So yeah, there we go. So there we go, that's 107 windows. That's how I fix them with some tiger seal. Works a treat, stays on, don't come off. So yeah, bonus. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there for today. I'll see you next time, stay safe.